What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Foxy Tire. I am here to give the Zodiac sign Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus their love reading. This is a timeless love reading, so whenever you come across this video, this video may be intended for you. Time and energy is fluid. Make sure you take what resonates with what doesn't. If it does not fit, don't try to make it fit. If it don't apply, let it fly, all right? And I suggest that you also check other videos with um, your chart placements. Check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign, your Venus, whatever it is. <laughs> if you are looking for a personal reading, please click the description box below. And you will see my Etsy link. And it will show you all of the listings that I do have. I do have a sale going on for the month of Taurus. For the season of Taurus, actually. <laughs> so go ahead, check it out. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like that follow, excuse me, that follow, <laughs> that like, the, the subscribe, and share. All right, so Gemini, let's see what's going on in love for you. What's going on in love for Gemini? Going on in love for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. We got retreat in reverse. Oh, you going back to something? Or is somebody coming back to you? I don't feel like somebody is hesitating or thinking about it. Romantic feelings. Ooh, your feelings are real and worth exploring. <sighs> Feeling like second go round. Ooh, let go of control issues. Ooh, and then you got children. Okay. I'm getting a couple of messages here. So with the retreat card in reverse, and then you got romantic feelings, I feel like and then you have let go and control issues. I feel like either you're wanting someone to come back or someone wants to come back to you. And then with the children card at the bottom of the deck, either some of y'all may have um, children with someone or this could be like a new beginning that you want to have with them or they want to have with you, whichever, whichever side of the coin you on, okay? All right, so let's see, let's get some tarot. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth exploring. <sighs> kind of feels like, I don't know, Gemini. This may feel, this, this, I don't know. Who, if, if this is you. Okay, let's just say this is you. If you are in love with someone or you are really it feels like for some for some gemini's it feels that you're in love with someone and this is like something new so at first you was thinking about walking away but now you're like you know what i can't even control this okay so it's saying allow this to unfold naturally like whatever your feelings are you got three of wands in reverse Ooh, then you got the two of pentacles Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. This is really like, <laughs> I feel like all, all of these emotions, wow. All of these emotions got you haywire. Or this could be the person, whichever, whichever it is. But this is a whole brand new feeling, okay? Whether if this is somebody that um, it could be, I, I feel like this is 50-50. This can be, for some of you, this is someone from your past or this is someone that you're actually, you already came across and maybe you were dating them already. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is something, wow. And the Wheel of Fortune came with romantic feelings. Look at this. Mm. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo. Wow, four of cups. Let these feelings out. Listen, Gemini. What if this is you? If you holding back, Gemini, you <laughs> don't sit here and hold back because this is something that is like this is a whole new um with these romantic feelings, and then you have the wheel of fortune. This is something like brand new, like this is a whole new territory for you. And it's a good type of new. OK, your feelings are definitely worth exploring. OK, with the with the two of pentacles and then you have the queen of um, the queen of excuse me, pentacles in reverse. That's me. Th this makes me feel like is that 
you're trying to sit here, you're really trying to balance the situation, but the more that you're trying to control how you feel, it's making you even more imbalanced. Nah, listen, if you want to go ahead and make the offer, whether it, or, or I feel like some of you are also crushing on someone, okay? I feel like this, this feels like this is new. This is something, this is brand new. I feel like Either someone is crushing on you or you crushing on someone else. Okay, Gemini? Listen, go ahead and explore those feelings. Go and make like make the offer. Go ask them out for drinks. Okay? You got the four of cups here. And then you have the seven. Yeah. With the four of cups here, it's like you're you're really like you're you're not trying to hear like love right now. I feel like I I I no, I'm not trying to go down that road. But this person came out of nowhere, okay? And Look at this. You got let go of control issues. OK, but some of y'all who if this is um, someone that you are that you are involved with or you was or this is like um, someone that you had kids with. Let this happen naturally. I feel like you I feel like you want to give it a second chance or this person wants to give it a second chance with you. And then you got seven of wands. You're really trying to like hold it down. You're really trying to hold it down. Don't try to force the situation. Just go with the flow. Like, you don't have to be so rigid, okay? Like I said, if it's you or them, okay? Eight of Wands, not making no type of movement. What is this let go of control issues? Let go of control issues. Let go of control issues. Ooh, the Hierophant. You could be married to this person, but you need to turn around and really listen to your intuition, okay, or this person, who, whatever side of the coin you on, like I said, could definitely could be dealing with the Taurus, okay, let go of control issues, you got the, you got the Hierophant, let the spirits guide you, okay, listen to your intuition, listen, like, go with what your gut feels, okay, Gemini, go with your gut, okay, and then what's this, I knew this was gonna come out, Ace of Swords, communication, there's gonna be some communication, oh, no, hold on, kind of go yeah okay communication okay you got the ace of swords here that's your card communication and then you got the high priestess in reverse stop don't ignore this cancer some of y'all could be dealing with the cancer some of y'all could be dealing with the cancer do not ignore this ten of swords this could be somebody either this is someone that hurt you before in the past or you're holding on to a lot of betrayal or you're scared because you've been hurt before in the past Look at this, six of wands at the bottom of the deck. This will be a victory, okay? This definitely will be a victory for you. What is the advice for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. What is the advice for Gemini? 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 Look, nine of cups. Listen. Nine of Cups. If this person makes you happy, go towards them. Speak up, okay? Whether if um, if this is a new person or somebody that you're crushing on, go and, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of cups. Ask them out for a drink, okay? I'm seeing a lot of cups here. You could be dealing with the water sign. Ask them out for a drink, okay? Say something or some or this could be somebody coming towards um coming towards you that's crushing on you. Okay, and look at this. You got the devil card in reverse. Let go of any type of, yeah, see the two of swords in reverse, and then you, then you got the queen of swords in reverse. Let go of any type of um, mental, like all this mental conflict. Don't sit here and let the devil turn around and play with your head, okay? Don't let the devil get in between us because this is actually a good look. Like, it's this is worth exploring, okay? This is definitely worth exploring, Gemini. This is definitely worth exploring. Ask them out. Come on now. You got the nine of cups here. This And this person feels like they're fun too. Like, look at this. Clot. Need time, take time. Okay? Heal. Private. Look, the time is ticking. The time is now, they're saying. Okay? Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning from, excuse me, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, completion. Okay. And be careful of anyone 
that's in your ear too. If there's somebody that's trying to sit here and be too talking in your ear, be careful. It's specifically a female. If there's a female that's like trying to intervene or I feel like there's also somebody, maybe someone from your past that's going to sit here and try to block your happiness or you was dealing with somebody that was a snake from your past. Listen, this whole new, this, this new person is definitely going to sit here and really help your ascension and help change your, um, your thoughts when it comes to love. All right. I wish I love and light. Good luck. I hope this helps.